Over the past few weeks, tensions around Israel have been extremely high and the past few days have felt like a war zone. Now I'm currently in Israel but I'm a student in the UK and I've been contacted by many fellow students after being bombarded with anti-Semitic filth and anti-Israel posts online. Now I'm going to try and address that in this video with three main points. Firstly, there is a crucial distinction to be made between criticizing government and denying a people's right to exist or self-determine. Now criticism of government is not only okay, it's in fact necessary for maintaining a healthy democracy. Whereas on the other hand, you have an anti-Semitic practice which has already been played out throughout history. And we know how it ends. The vast majority of us don't want to see that happen again, so make this distinction. Secondly, in contrast to what many of the media outlets are now portraying, recent events, whether it's the domestic riots or on the Gaza front, were not caused by the Sheikh Jarrah incident or the Temple Mount. Those were simply diversions from the Palestinian Authority's postponement of another set of election. They were fearful of losing their position to Hamas who would consolidate theirs in the West Bank. They had to postpone the elections and blame someone. So who do they blame? The Jews. They do so by inciting, dividing and polarizing, leading to not only aggravation of Hamas, but the death of innocent civilians in the West Bank. Now it's important to note, none of these groups are the good guys. It's essentially a vote for the lesser of two evils. Thirdly, this battle is being fought on three main fronts. Down south with Gaza under Hamas rule. Now Hamas are a terrorist organization who seek one thing and one thing only, and it is to murder every Jew in the land. They do not care for civilians, they do not care for this land, and they certainly do not care for their own people. As I speak, they have sent over 1,500 rockets packed with explosives and shrapnel designed specifically to cause as much damage as possible, to inflict as much harm as possible, and to murder as many Jews as they can. Now, several of these rockets have gone astray and unfortunately led to the death of innocent Palestinians, though they don't care about that in the slightest because they do not see Palestinian people as anything other than propaganda tools and cannon fodder. Now, on the other hand, you have Israel, whose primary strategy is defensive. We have the Iron Dome system, which successfully intercepted many of these rockets. Unfortunately, several did get through and caused the death of innocent citizens. Now, Israel's offensive strategy is twofold. It is either direct attacks on Hamas militant terrorists, or it is through a practice called roof knocking, where they drop a small explosive on a building alerting civilians and locals that there is an imminent bombing and they need to clear the area. The second front are the domestic riots, violence and civil unrest we are seeing in Israel, specifically in cohabitation cities. Now, these need to be strongly condemned from both sides and end immediately. These are seen as a huge success for Hamas, and as they are the common enemy, we need to put an end to this as soon as we can. Thirdly is the international arena. Now there are politicians, celebrities and activists who simply seek to divide, to incite and to continue this conflict. So before you share, comment or like, seriously think to yourself, are they trying to divide or do they seriously want the betterment of both peoples. Now regarding Israel and the Middle East, very briefly, Jews lives matter, black lives matter, Muslim lives matter, Asian lives matter, only in Israel. Women's rights, they, they, don't, they practically don't exist anywhere else in the Middle East but in Israel. LGBT rights, they will thank you for supporting them while pushing you off a building. Animal rights, Hamas are painting donkeys with Israel flags, beating them till they can't stand and burning them alive. We need to unite against our common enemy, which is fundamentalist fanatics. For those of you screaming and chanting, free Palestine, free Palestine, I agree. Let's free Palestine of Hamas.